Good morning on the 16th of September. So I want to do a little video about the impact of the macro prudential policy of the housing market. Now, Tim Loris, the one of the researchers at CoreLogic, has created this beautiful uh, article about what's happening now with you know, high debt to income ratios and what's going on in the market now. As we can see, we've got Melbourne and Sydney at the moment. They've closed the borders. Ah, sorry, the property. They've closed the property markets. Kind of slowed down. I should say everyone's in lockdown, and so that's having a bit of an. I guess the market's not performing as well because of you know what's happening, but it's still produce. It's still doing quite well in the in the states because they're still having you know your virtual auctions. But what the concern is here, the you know the RBA has come out and. You know, house to, the household debt to income ratio is increasing. So, of course, you know, their, their debt is increasing because of, you know, people over leveraging purchasing properties. And what they're very concerned about is they've, in the past, they've, they've tried to slow down the market. You can see the three times here they've slowed down the market. Uh, because back then in 2014, we know Melbourne and Sydney had their rally and they were doing quite well. And then, you, you know, they entered it, they, done some things to try and slow down the market three times and which it did 2016 or 17 it started slowing down towards 18 and then it, you know started rallying back up went, went down again when COVID hit but then as you can see you got this massive spike here and what the issue is or what the you know what the concern is is Australians I guess especially homeowners they're not the investors they're not too worried about the investors at the moment because as we can see investors were below the below the current average of credit. Now, as you can see, the owner occupies of credit, it's above the average and it's just increasing. It's not dipping down. As you can see to the investors, it's starting to dip down. But what they're concerned is about is a lot of, you know, owner occupiers are going in with, you know, high LVRs. So 90% or even the 5% deposit schemes. And as you can see, it's increasing. Now it's kind of, it's tapered off, but as we, why it's tapered off, of course, we've got Melbourne and Sydney that two of the biggest property markets in Australia, of course, not really active at the moment. As we can see, the interest-only home loans have actually kind of started to decrease, but as well, that can be an effect of the Melbourne, the Melbourne city market, you know, the, you know, the property market open. Now, the income ratio is just increasing rapidly, as we can see, which is quite dangerous. So let's say what the six times means is, so let's say you're on a, you're on an income of fifty thousand dollars. You can borrow six times of that income of your your personal income of fifty thousand dollars. Now some banks go up to six, some go up to nine or even ten. Now people put themselves into leverage, and what they're very cautious or very scared about is these homeowners just purchasing, you know, with no due diligence and looking long term. They're talking about maybe possibly, you know, having to slow down the market, and how they're going to do that is by increasing interest rates by increasing interest rates you know of course you can't borrow as much so your your debt be, reduces now that can have a slow that can have an impact on people's first, uh, personal situation of lending but it will have an effect on the property market not necessarily because property markets have performed when interest rates actually have risen as well so it's just going to slow people from i guess over leveraging will that will that help who knows? Depending on per, on the people, but this is I wanted to do this video because it's to make sure if you're going out there purchasing a family home or you're purchasing an investment property, to do your due diligence. When I look into a property market, I'm always looking at mortgage repayments versus household income. Now you can look at this data at SQM, you can look at the ABS data, and you can go from a micro, you can go from a little micro level of the actual suburb. Now, I do this to make sure that I want to get into a location where it's over leveraged because if there's more people that are over leveraged in debt, those markets are going to suffer if first, if something happened to the economy, which is always going to be something, there's always going to be something that's going to happen. Of course, we were recessions, depressions, whatever it may be, but those markets are going to suffer more than the markets that haven't over leveraged. And having a look at as well, um, Properties owned outright as well, having a high percentage of owner, you know, owner occupied out owning their house outright is a massive win as well. So, just doing your due diligence, having a look into the market, and not just thinking short term. A lot of people, a lot of investors, and, and owner and occupiers, they go out there and they look short term. Money might be cheap today, but we don't know how long it's going to be. RBA said interest rates are going to be low for three years to four years.
but now they're talking about maybe rising those interest rates. So this is something that people got to not just take the word from, you know, whatever they hear off TV or from the banks or on the newspapers, because you don't know what's around the corner. Look long term. That's what I wanted to do this video to, you know, give give people understanding what's happening at the moment. As we can see, household, you know, debt, debt income ratios, of course, it's always going to be rising as inflation goes on, but it's looking the long term. So hopefully, you, you know, do your diligence, look at household income versus, you know, mortgage repayments, look at, you know, the, how much, uh, how much percent of house right, uh, oh, sorry, outright homes have been, you know, how much the percentages of the, that particular market. So it shows you that a lot of people own their own homes in those markets and that those little markets aren't going to affect as much as the people that over leverage. A good rule of thumb, I don't like to go, if you're looking at uh, mortgage repayments versus household income, I don't want to go into a market where it's got more than 30%. And I, like I said, I look at this, this data at SQ, uh, SQM, this is a great website, so you can type in, you can type that in, and do your research there when you're looking in the particular market. So, moral of this of this video: make sure you do the due diligence, and make sure you just don't look short term, look long term. So, everyone, I hope you have a lovely afternoon or morning. I should say, uh, enjoy the rest of your week, and just make sure you do the due diligence before you're going into in a property market or purchasing a new family home.